Hello folks, this is Jamil Swift for Gunstock Reviews. We're here in Scottsdale, Arizona at C2 Tactical, our favorite indoor facility with something really cool and new from Springfield Armory. But before we talk about that, I'd like to ask you to please like this video, share this video, and subscribe to the channel so we may continue to bring you content like this. What are Springfield up to now? The Saint in 9mm. So this is Saint Victor 9mm carbine. Um, one cool thing. First things first, it is actually a 9mm receiver, unlike in other manufacturers had made, taken a standard 5.56 receiver, put an insert into it to use uh, 9mm magazines. This one is built from the ground up as a 9mm carbine. It has all the cool things. See, it doesn't have a forward assist because it doesn't need it. Um, it has a 15-inch handguard. 16 inch barrel with a muzzle brake on it. Um, can I also, it has a B5 Systems pistol grip, which is a straight pistol grip. Gives you the feeling of a 1911, if that's cl the closest thing you can have to a 1911 type grip. It has an extended trigger guard around it. So if you need to shoot it with uh, gloves on, you can do it. It has a very short throw ambidextrous safety, a B5 Systems stock and I'm throwing uh, TRS-26 Bushnell on it for this video it has pop up up uh, front and rear sights and what else can I say it is really cool it's really slim handguard so you don't have all that extra stuff that you don't need you only need uh, Picatinny here and a little bit here just in case you want to throw your uh, red dot or scope in that matter a little forward anything up here because it has M locks all over the place. So if you need to attach anything to it, you have that. So one thing, the magazine. I need to talk about this. It uses the Colt Design magazine. What I'm going to ask you guys is to look at where, if you want to buy more magazines, you can always reach out to Springfield Armory or be very, very, very careful buying magazines for this uh, carbine because there's a lot of really crappy magazines out there. Okay. There's only a few companies that make magazines that are worth the money and it's not going to give you a heartache or, you know, heart problems or whatever, you know. You, know, you don't need no butt hurt when you pick up your uh, magazines for this uh, carbine. One thing you, that are really effective on well baked magazines is if you find old surplus Uzi magazines, they can be modified by a competent gunsmith by cutting uh, an extra um, mag release notch in it. So I know some people say, oh, I can't, I don't wanna, I can't afford 10, 10 of these magazines. You can find really good, reliable surplus Uzi mags that actually work on it. But then again, you're gonna have to spend some money in gunsmithing to get them, get the right notch put in them. Other than that, um, the design of course has been proven over the decades. Uh, Colt started this back in the 70s, I think, if I'm not mistaken, with their with this magazine for 9mm. But Springfield, of course, took it to step further with the St. Victor. So let's go ahead and try it. I haven't fired this uh, firearm yet. And of course, it's not sighted in. So let's see how close I am by throwing a brand new red dot on it. So let's do it. First course, ears and eyes. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. We'll see how close I am to zero here. I'm pretty damn close, just a little bit, uh, Low on left, but that could be me. Let's go fire another five rounds. By the way, for this test, I'm using uh, Federal Syntec 150 grain uh, total TSJ ammo, which is basically the 150 grain is pretty much optimized ammo to be shot in carbines and pistol caliber carbines in USPSA. So, this is, it says official ammunition of USBSA in the box, so I bet it's somewhat official. 
So let's go ahead and shoot another five rounds and check it out. Okay, when you do this in like any carbine and you have a red dot so high above the bore, you need to compensate for um, offset. So basically I am aiming at the tip of that diamond on top and that's where all the ra I'm, I'm aiming and it's shooting about three inches slow at about 10 yards. Oh, this is cool. I like it. Um, this is definitely a keeper from Springfield. Um, I know I pretty much say that about every Springfield gun I own. Um, I have yet to find a gun that I just don't want to keep because they, they make some really cool stuff. And this Saint uh, a line of rifles are, and now this carbine is just so cool. Let's go ahead and try it. Five more rounds. Oh yeah, that is definitely a winner. Um, it only ships with one magazine, which is kind of a bummer. So you, you're gonna need to do some research out there and try to find more magazines. Of course, Springfield Armory will probably have different sizes of these magazines available for you. And I know there's a couple of manufacturers out there that make drums for these. Some are really, really good. Some are really, really bad. So please do some research. Look in the internet. Um, don't believe everything you hear out there because sometimes some people will go out and say, oh, this is total garbage from X, Y, or Z company. And it's, they're saying so without testing them. So watch out, look at some of these guys that actually have tested the magazines, but I would say buying them from Springfield directly is your choice, because of course you get the warranty too. You get a magazine and there's any fault in your magazine or in the firearm, you just give them a call. They'll send you a, a call tag and send you a brand new magazine or get your firearm worked on, but I don't see anything wrong with this one. Um, heck of a good uh, carbine. Uh, it has all the, I went all over the points. The controls are exactly the same way as an, any, any type of AR-15. Uh, oh, by the way, it has a single point uh, attachment here in the back on the plate. So it's kind of cool. You can put a QD on it and just let it hang in here. Or you can have a sling and put a QD in here too on the, one of the M locks. And you can have a two point sling in it. So like the one sling I got from Blackhawk, which is a good choice, it's, my, it's on the, my other uh, Springfield Saint. So again, guys, I think this is a winner. So like always, please remain healthy, stay safe, and definitely have fun at the range. Thank you for watching Gunstock Reviews. Please visit our website at www.gunstockreviews.com for more exclusive content. Please visit our patron page at www.patreon.com slash gunstockreviews. Your contributions would be greatly appreciated and help us grow our selections and frequency of videos.